Hello everybody. So this video is intended more so for parents. I've had a lot of parents asking, how can I set up parental controls, even though the city already provides its own filter, Zscaler, there are additional parental controls that you can set up. So some students, they'll go on YouTube and they still find ways to look at explicit content. This is how you stop that. First you go to settings, so step one, settings. Step two, hit on screen time. Step three, turn on screen time. Step four, click, click continue. Step five, this is my child's iPad. So you can do downtime. Set a schedule for time away from the screen. Your permission will be required to allow more screen time, calls, messages, etc. I'm going to skip that for now, but you can set that up if you'd like. So I'm going to click not now. App limits, same deal. So you can limit certain types of apps, the amount of time they can spend on it. I'm going to skip that for now. Content and privacy, this is the one that I want to do. You can restrict explicit and mature content in the iTunes and app stores, music, and websites. On the NYC DOE issued iPads, you don't actually have access to the app store, but you do have access to websites. That's useful. Restrict privacy settings. You can require your permission to make changes to privacy settings. That's good too. So I'm going to click continue. I'm just going to make the password 1234 because I'm just going to turn this on and turn it off. So do that real quick. And you can have the option of putting in an Apple ID. I'm just going to skip that for now since this is just for demonstration just purposes. Cancel. Using an Apple ID gives you a way to reset the screen time passcode if you forget it. So yeah, you should use an Apple ID, but for demonstration purposes, I'm going to skip it. All right, we're in. So we can schedule downtime, app limits, choose apps you want at all times. So for example, let's say that we jump into content and privacy restrictions. We're going to turn them on. I'm going to put in my passcode, one, two, three, four, super original. Now I have a couple of options. Allowed apps. So let's say that you just don't want them using Safari whatsoever, the internet browser. You could just turn that off. And now all of a sudden, there's no more Safari on here. I'm turning it back on for now. Another example content restrictions. So there's a few settings here that are useful. One, music, podcast, and news. You can see explicit, cursing, etc. We can make it clean. You can even limit, do you want music videos, music profiles, all these different things to play with. Apps. Allow all apps. This doesn't really matter because the city is managing this anyway. There aren't any inappropriate apps allowed web content, unrestricted access. So this is interesting. You can do unrestricted access, which is what we're set up to now, or you can limit to obviously no adult websites, which should be filtered out anyway. But here is the kicker, allowed websites only. So this is pretty cool. Only allow these websites. You can actually put in just the websites that you want the student to be able to go to. So if you really wanted to set parental controls, you can go in here and you could just put in all the websites you want and anything else will basically come up with an error message. So I'm going to I'm going to keep right it like now. this by default just to show you what happens now if a student tries to access a different website. So we're at allowed websites only. All right. Let's go do a search. So here's what happens. I tried to go to Google. I just searched for the term Apple and it says restricted site. You cannot browse this page at google.com because it's restricted. Now let's say the student wants to allow the website. This is where their parent would have to come and put in the passcode. And now this has been added. So let's say I want to go to apple.com, right? Click on Apple. 
checked and it is now allowed. So my whole search is now allowed. So let's say we go back to Google. And I'm searching for, let's do Roblox since kids actually play that. A real relevant kid search. And it says this site is restricted. So you can see the parent can say, nope, I don't want you playing video games, so can't use that. Kid goes back, kid searches for math games, like cool math games, popular website that they like to play on. Clicks it, restricted site. So basically, if they don't know that passcode, they're gonna have to come to you, the parent, in order to allow sites. This is an excellent method in order to limit content. So now let's say that we want to disable the privacy settings. We go to settings, we click on screen time, we click on turn off screen time, we enter our passcode, and we confirm that we want to turn off screen time. Now the settings are gone, and now I can search, for example, where I was before, like cool math games. It's just there. Oops. And it'll let me go there. So, yeah, you actually have many more privacy settings than is by default. And there you go. That is how you do parental controls on a DOE-issued iPad. Hope that helped. This is Mr. Kamer from PS169, New York City Department of Education, signing off. Have a great day, everybody.